Hi, my name is Scott Lissa. I'm here in Qualicum Beach. Hi, my name is Scott Lissa. I'm here in beautiful Qualicum Beach, and I'm going to tell you about the top retirement community here on Vancouver Island. Qualicum Beach, like most places here on Vancouver Island, derives its name from the Coast Salish language and it translates to where the dog salmon run. As the roads and the railways were completed between North and South Vancouver Island, the people who were traveling through this region found Qualicum Beach to be unrivaled in its beauty. And because of this, the Merchant Trust Trade Company ended up sponsoring the development of a golf course and a hotel, and the rest is history. This is a small coastal Vancouver Island town, and it only has a population of roughly 9,000 people. And that population is primarily over the age of 65. Actually, statistically, 52% of the population is over the age of 65, meaning there's about 4,600 seniors that are calling Qualicum Beach home. It's not hard to understand why. Qualicum Beach is one of the top retirement communities in all of Canada. And as you're going to find out, there's so many things to do here, there's no reason that you would ever have to leave. Living here in Qualicum Beach, you need to know what to do with your day. And the first thing you need to do when you get up in the morning is head down to the beach. The sun rises in the east and bathes the shoreline here in beautiful warm sunlight. The sand is soft, the waves gently lap on the shoreline, and it is one of the most relaxing ways to get your exercise in the morning. After you've watched the sunrise, the next thing I'd suggest you do is head her for a cup of coffee in the downtown plaza. My favorite spot is Bailey's Cafe, and this place has great baked goods and some of the best coffee here in Qualicum Beach. Me personally, I love drinking a shot in the dark. What this is, is a dark roast coffee with a shot of espresso and it's going to get you just caffeinated enough to continue doing all the things you can do here. Now once you have your cup of coffee and muffin, I recommend walking outside to the plaza and sitting down next to the fountain here. It's a beautiful park right next to the public library where there's free Wi-Fi. So you can sit there in the morning, enjoy looking through your social media, or even better, do a FaceTime call with your family. Let them know you're doing great living here in Qualicum Beach. Another great thing to do here in the morning is visit the old schoolhouse, better known as Tosh, T-O-S-H. Now, this school was one of the first schools built in Qualicum Beach back in 1912. And over the years, it's been preserved and transformed into this amazing art gallery. This art gallery has great works of art by both local and well-known artists. It also has a jazz piano and amazing gatherings that you really do need to mark on your social calendar. After you've fed your soul by looking at all these beautiful pieces of art, I recommend going downstairs and visiting the gift shop. There's all sorts of interesting odds and sods that are perfect to send to family members for gifts, for birthdays and holidays. There's also great art classes here. Downstairs you're going to find the different art studios where you can take different classes, workshops ranging from painting to drama. So if you are artistically inclined, the old schoolhouse is definitely going to be a mainstay for you living here in Qualicum Beach. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about Qualicum during your day, I highly recommend stopping by the museum. Here, in the first floor, you're going to find a great paleontology exhibit with tons of old bones, rocks, and fossils found from tens and hundreds of thousands of years ago. Upstairs in the museum, you're going to find the history of Qualicum Beach and how it came to fruition over the last roughly 150 years. It truly is breathtaking to see how this beautiful community was first conceived and grew to the place that we all love to visit every single summer. While you're at the museum, I highly recommend just walking down the road a little bit further and checking out the old train station there. You're going to actually find an old steam engine, which is truly breathtaking to behold. And right next to that is a beautiful old church with some of the most impeccably manicured gardens I have ever seen. 
Now, if it's Saturday, I do recommend that you go right downtown and check out the farmer's market where they pretty much have a devoted street just for this purpose. Here, you're going to find local crafts and local artists with beautiful things to purchase, along with locally farmed fruit, vegetables, and meats. This is perfect to go on a weekly basis and fill up your pantry with food that is going to sustain you, that is locally sourced and absolutely delicious. Now, if you like what you've seen so far, please, please, please give us a like or subscribe. It helps support the channel and it lets us know what we're doing is helping you out and you want to see more of it. Now, if you're interested in moving here, probably the next question is about real estate and the costs of purchasing a home here. Now, about 10 years ago in 2012, you could purchase a home here for around $330,000. And since then, home prices have increased at roughly around 250%. Now, to buy a single family home, you're gonna pay roughly around $850,000. To buy a town home, the price then goes to about $700,000, and a condo around $425,000. If you wanna look into real estate or search current homes available, make sure you look down below. There's some different links that'll help you search the latest listings, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Now, if you're looking for some advice on the different neighborhoods here and where I would personally live, the first place I would pick to live is probably on Judges Row. This area has some of the nicest beaches and most beautiful homes on a very calm street. Another great community I would get you to take a look at is just off of Surfside Drive. This is one of the best beach communities. It's homes right on the front of the water and it backs on to the estuary. And finally, another place that you have to look into is called Eagle Crest. This is right next to Eagle Crest Golf Course and has some of the most stunning new homes that I've seen here on Vancouver Island. When living here, the outdoors is going to be very important to your life. And because of this, you're going to find that Qualicum Beach has some of the best beaches and parks on all of Vancouver Island. Now let's first talk about the beach here at Qualicum. It extends for kilometers along a very calm bay. And during low tide, you're going to get large expanses of very soft sand. I can't tell you how nice it is to walk along this with friends, family, or taking your dog for a walk. It truly is one of the most refreshing things that you can do in summer. And while you're down here, it's great to go for a swim or a paddleboard. And if you don't have a paddleboard, make sure you stop by one of the local shops and rent one. You can take it out for an hour, you can take it out for a day. It's not that hard to do, and I can't tell you how amazing it is as you're paddling around and you get to see the sea life that are swimming around you, just in the waters below. Apart from beaches, a place that you need to check out while you're here is called Heritage Forest. It truly is one of the most spectacular examples of old growth trees you can find here in Qualicum Beach. Now as you get here, take your time and wander through the paths that'll lead you through these beautiful, magnificent old growth trees. And while you're in here, you're gonna find little plaques that are gonna tell you about the different species and other information about what makes these old growth trees so spectacular. Now take your time, eventually you're going to walk to a great opening where you're going to find a beautiful glade, an open field surrounded by park benches. Here you can be one with nature and enjoy your afternoon completely secluded from the city and still being right in the heart of Qualicum Beach. Another place to get out, stay active and be social is the community park and the Qualicum Beach Civic Center, which is found right in the heart of Qualicum Beach and has activities for both young and old year round. Here, you're also going to find the Raven Song Aquatic Center, which is a terrific facility with one of the most beautiful pools you're going to find here on Vancouver Island. This is a great place to visit during the winter months if you're looking to get some activity in and enjoy swimming a few laps in this crystal clean pool. Another great activity that a lot of people love to get out and do here is lawn bowling, which is very popular and a great way to stay social here throughout the year. The Lawn Bowling Club is found right in downtown and has magnificent facilities that have multiple different lanes for you to enjoy and be competitive with your friends.
Qualicum Beach is a golfer's paradise. There's three golf courses here and multiple more within a 20 to 30 minute drive. But here real quick are the three different golf courses that I highly recommend you check out here in Qualicum Beach. The first place we have to talk about is Memorial Golf Course. And this has a rich history as it was built in 1913. Here, you're gonna play a challenging par 70 round with stunning fairways, well manicured greens and perfect tee boxes. The next golf is Pheasant Glen and it is probably my top golf course to play here on Vancouver Island. The reason I love this golf course so much is because technically it's two different nine hole golf courses. There's the Glen and the Pines. The Glen is the first nine holes and it expands over these beautiful wetlands that are perfectly maintained the back nine are what are called the pines, and it's a great change of pace after you've been in an open area to go into the forest and see this beautiful green stretch of grass that cuts through the tall trees. Now the final golf course we're gonna talk about is called Eagle Crest. This is a nine hole par 36 golf course found just south of Qualicum Beach. This is the perfect place to play a short game, especially if you live in this neighborhood, which has some of the nicest homes you're gonna find here in Qualcomm Beach. Now, as you can tell, Qualcomm is a fantastic place that has all the benefits of living in a planned community. It's beautiful, clean, safe, and affluent, and not commercial whatsoever. Now, if you have any questions about relocating here, feel free to reach out to us. It is a big decision to move to an island on the west coast of Canada, but be assured, we're here to help. My name is Scott Lissa. I'm so happy you took the time to do this with me, and I hope you get to live the island life soon. Take care. Goodbye.